About a year and a half ago, I did a breakdown on LaMelo Ball when he was a sophomore at Chino Hills. He was a 6'2", 15-year-old with exceptional court vision and great scoring potential, but he was also a player that needed a lot of improvement when it came to shot selection, decision making, and his overall effort on the defensive end. Nonetheless, I believed Melo would have a great junior and senior campaign at Chino Hills, but as most of you know, things didn't work out that way. After leaving Chino Hills, LaMelo signed with the pro team in Lithuania where he struggled most of the season. Soon after, he embarked on his next journey in the JBA League, LeVar Ball's NCAA alternative, and eventually Melo ended up back in high school this past fall when he enrolled at Spire Institute. It still remains to be seen if LaMelo will even be able to play college ball next year, but I still feel like it's necessary to make this video to show you guys how much he's improved as a basketball player and to also gauge his chances of making the NBA. Melo has been a gifted passer most of his high school career, but now it looks like Melo has really started putting things together at the one spot. He's much more mature and patient running the offense, and he really does a great job of making the simple basketball play, where in the past, Melo would try to make the home run play way too often. He has the same demeanor and poise as his older brother Lonzo. No matter what the defense does, Melo plays at his own pace and just lets the game come to him. Now, does Melo still make risky passes? Of course. He'll attempt at least one or two per game, but overall, he's far less turnover prone than before. Melo used to be a score first type player, but now it's impressive to see Melo develop into a pass first player that tries to set up his teammates before trying to get his own on offense. A 6'6 guard with his passing ability screams NBA talent. Despite all the off court antics, it's hard to overlook the incredible upside LaMelo has as a point guard. With all the talent that Spire has, Melo doesn't really have to carry much of the scoring load. But when he gets hot, Melo can go off for big scoring performances. He's been a streaky shooter most of his career and that hasn't changed much. He still has games where his three point percentage is pretty horrendous, but at least he's not jacking up as many reckless shots as he did at Chino Hills. He still shoots well enough from deep that you at least have to put a hand up, and I think we all know Melo won't hesitate to pull it from NBA range. As a driver, Melo isn't very explosive off the dribble and his average athleticism doesn't allow him to finish above the rim that often, but his crafty handle makes him tough to stay in front of and his ability to finish with both hands around the rim makes up for his lack of bounce. And despite being a skinny guy, Melo absorbs and finishes through contact pretty well and his soft touch around the rim allows him to make tough floaters in the paint. If Melo can fill in his 6'6 frame with some muscle, then he would really be a nightmare to stay in front of for opposing point guards. And I would also like to acknowledge Lamelo's improved motor on defense. Now, he still has a long way to go before I can call him a good defender, but Melo has shown when he puts in some effort, he can rack up a lot of steals. He's so long that when he's actually attempting to play defense, he makes it really tough for ball handlers to make passes or dribble around him. If Melo gave 50% of the effort on defense that Lonzo does, then we're looking at a guaranteed future NBA pro. But Melo's gonna have to decide if he really wants to take his game to the next level or not. Alright, so despite Melo showing some type of improvement on defense, overall he's still a pretty bad defender. So where do I begin? It's almost rare that you'll see Melo in an actual defensive stance. 9 times out of 10, Melo won't even attempt to stop someone from attacking the basket, he'd rather just gamble and reach for the ball. When I'm watching the opposing team push the ball in transition, it's concerning that Melo is usually the last one back on defense. Hell, there's been times where Melo doesn't even cross half court. I don't know if Melo doesn't want to get exposed on defense or if he genuinely doesn't care about playing defense, but either way, something needs to be changed immediately. He's far too gifted as a player to let something like playing bad defense hurt his chances of playing in the league. Besides defense, his other two weaknesses are consistency on offense and his lack of physicality. Melo has a lot of potential to be a great scorer at the next level, but he still has a ways to go. His three-point shot is on one game and gone the next. I feel like this is partly due to his shot mechanics. He has a terrible habit of fading away every time he shoots the ball, and his awkward form doesn't help anything either. He still has a tendency of jacking up some pretty bad shots, but at this point, it's almost expected with Melo. He's a gunner, that's who he is, but if he wants to play like that, he needs to find a way to be more consistent. And it also wouldn't hurt him to put on some weight. He has some issues finishing at the rim with contact, and this will definitely be an issue in the future once he's playing at the next level. 
Well, here's my verdict. LaMelo Ball is one of the most talented point guards in high school basketball with arguably the highest ceiling. When you have a 6'6 point guard with his basketball IQ, shooting ability, and calm demeanor, you're looking at someone who could potentially be a franchise type player. But right now, Melo has a lot of on and off the court issues he needs to figure out. The chances of Melo playing college ball is very slim. If he does get an opportunity, it'll most likely be at a mid or low major university where he'll for sure have to set out some games at the beginning of the year. If he's not eligible, then he'll probably go overseas for at least a year and then by then he'll be old enough to enter the NBA draft. Everything's kind of a mess right now when it comes to LaMelo Ball and NCAA, but the most important thing is that Melo continues to improve as a basketball player. He's very talented, but he has a lot of work to do before he's ready to play at the NBA level. Hopefully all of these off-court distractions won't hinder his basketball future because if he gets his stuff together, then the sky's the limit for LaMelo Ball. But let's just wait and see how things unfold in the next few months.